Hello, I'm Kari Frazier, the founder of Detroit is Different, a content house for voices, thought, perspective, and information that definitely is needed. And today I come to you in collaboration and led by Riverwise Magazine, a content house that provides a magazine that gives community voice, progressive thought, and always advocating for human rights and against all injustice. And I'm speaking about the Ukraine-Russia conflict that involves America in a needed historical perspective for you to understand the interview that you're about to watch. World War II was a conflict that arose where world nations aligned with or against Nazi Germany. Russia and its leadership under Stalin fought off two thirds of the German army while losing what's estimated as 30 million soldiers and civilians. This created a tense relationship with post-World War II Nazi Germans and Russia and its communist thinking and leaning. United Nations after World War II was created and formed as a peace alternative to create a form where nations can avoid global war conflicts. Also, after World War II, NATO was founded and it was created as a North Atlantic Treaty Organization to prevent conflicts with the then USSR government. NATO and Nazism have strong ties and a relationship. NATO's first chairman of military committee was Adolf Hausinger, who was a top appointing officer of the Nazi army and top friend to Adolf Hitler at the time. The foundation of NATO was under strong Nazi influence. The Ukraine has kept an uneasy relationship in leadership between Nazi Germans and communist and socialist Russians. And this has existed for decades. Russ Ballant is a local Detroiter that I interviewed about all of this and a foremost historian on this matter. In 1991, his book, Old Nazis and the New Right and the New Republican Party, received Harvard Review, International Notice, and so much more. In this interview, you're going to find out more from the perspective of what's happening in this conflict that you're not seeing on many of the other news outlets that are more accessible. But we challenge you to critically think of this whole matter and not just take this interview or take any interview or take any article or any conversation to heart. But please use your critical thinking so you can be, be best informed about what's happening in this matter and so many more matters. What we do is we have a goal to inform. And we're definitely going to always advocate for human rights. And this is a very tough and uneasy time as we see war as never never an answer or violence as an answer to solve any conflict. So please watch this interview, learn a little bit, share as needed, and pull out your perspective historical thinking cap. Thank you. <laughs> 